Bloodborne and the update 5 let's play so we've got a bad side incoming so we're going to get test these out I'm going to check the settings that I've put in so um, below 6% we should go to 0 and then above 20% we should go to 1 and then here below 10% we go to 1 and above 20% we go to 0 so that I'm actually going to set that one a bit lower so that opens before that closes I think that makes sense to me um, and a bunch of really useful comments as well so we're going to have a look at and address some of those the first one was about my water wheels and what I should be doing is rather than using platforms, I should use levees so that we block the flow under the platforms and concentrate it through the water wheels. So I am going to do that. I think we're just going to take the hit over here and because the yeah, we're going to we're going to take the hit. We're going to delete I must delete all of this. Get under there. Can because they were able to reach down to grab this stuff. Um, there as well, and probably going to affect the performance of that water wheel, but hopefully overall. So we're doing 135 here. Where's my ever so handy pen that I actually can't see in front of me? There it is. So because I'll forget otherwise. 135. I'm going to levy in here and along here. Uh, I'm not sure where that sent all of the resources that we had there and then I'm going to let me double hind there we are going to need a platform to be able to build some of that but let's put in the uh, that one can be across these can just be T junctions This was a really good suggestion that I really do appreciate. I, f I forget some of these things. I really do. No. That's going to be a corner. That's going to be a high power shaft. And then I think to be able to build some of this, I need to put a... a they could maybe build all of that actually. Yeah, they can move. I'm not sure about that one. We'll see. Might need to put a diagonal uh, a platform there so they don't have to build diagonally. Let's start things running slowly. And then the same over here. Um definitely this one. And in here, I'm not sure about these. I think probably I should be, I should definitely be replacing these. Um, but I wonder about doing something quite significant and Moving it so we've got one instead of two and narrowing it. Curious what people think about that as an idea, those of you that know about these kind of things. Um, and, you know, I could narrow this down as well. Try and speed it up that way. Yeah, curious what you think about that. Um, the other comment was, 
about using water dumps to irrigate areas and that is something we will be doing but I want this and it's probably clearer now because I'm a couple of videos ahead from the comments this is going to be a reservoir for storing water rather than just to irrigate for trees and farming um, those are high priority because that's part of our solution for dealing with the uh, bad tide um yeah so i think those were most of the comments i'm not used to having so many comments on my timberborn videos so there is that i do think that i'm going to do that up here maybe a bad idea it may interrupt the flow of things Also, really do appreciate the, all of the extra views at the moment. It's very cool. So, if we levy there and there, maybe there. We probably don't need that last lot. But that should maybe speed these up. So, these are 90. We'll see if it makes a difference to those. And then maybe we'll think about doing it down here as well. Um, our bad water supply is still not keeping up, it would appear. Kind of grating. We might need to put more bad water pumping in. Um, really would like them to come and finish that it looks like it's just yeah they just need to come and construct it so it should be okay um, yeah I guess these are probably running yeah much much less efficiently now but that should get a lot better it might remove this one and levy here to try and increase that flow as well and maybe open this up a little bit so that we get a straighter shot through we'll see we'll see it's all part of the process um well oh, cool this is done there we go so that should give us a i'm gonna for completeness in um that in theory gives us a nice route for the bad water to flow out here rather than coming down to the colony it will come this way so we will have to deal, deal with that it's okay we're kind of set up assuming that apart from the uh the showers so my long-term ambition and we might start working towards it soon it is dams down here and dams probably along here and have them on um, some sort of automation so that when the bad tide comes it just ferries it straight down here straight through here and equally then maybe thinking about diverting water in different directions as we need it so i would like to start to hydrate some more of these areas so we've got land to farm um i'm still looking for a good spot to open up as a farm maybe this area particularly if we can get that wall built particularly that area so um this would make a nice farm as well it's not huge but to that end i'm going to clear these trees out 
and they are set to be cut so we just need a lumberjack to come cut them uh, how are we doing for beaver numbers so we've got a load spare here now and that's that one's got 13 spare so both we've got lots of spare beavers which is good because so I want to create a farm over here. We might use the water dump trick to irrigate it. I might cut an irrigation channel in. I kind of like irrigation channels. So we'll see how that goes. How are we doing with... This is progressing, but it's low priority, obviously. We still have a reasonable amount of metal there. Um... I'm waiting for the bad tide. I want to see how things behave. No. This is closed up, ready. So I can get to, oh yeah, they're just waiting for the uh, dynamite to put those in. It's not an urgent job. This, apart from the bad tide coming through, this would make nice farmland up here. Uh, and the fact that it's a really long trek. Maybe here it comes. So let's keep an eye on. Let's pause and check. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to. Oh, we can't pause the showers. We just have to wait. So that one is just up, which is fine. Those are up. Those. Have not gone up. Does that not count? Well, um, when draft starts, set to two. So, this not count as a drought. Anyway, let's manually implement some of these things maybe it doesn't because it's a bad tide rather than a drought no. close up those this all flows through and it's fine that's closed that's closed those are up at too high now because we did have issues those are closed that's closed and that's fine we are going to be flowing our bad tide through there probably um, yeah, let's watch and see how things change, shall we? So if we click on here and uh, we'll see how the contamination spreads. But yeah, my, my thought is that we dam across here. we have to block off across here as well. So far, no contamination. And over here, no contamination. No, good. I wonder whether we want to open that so that when we've got the bad tide, we pull more water through here. I think that is something that I want to explore. So we are going to have issues. Running a bit faster actually. I hadn't realised I hadn't sped time up properly. But the longer we can keep the contamination away, the better, obviously. Um, do I have... I think I have this set up for contamination as well. So yeah, it's going to pause above 23%. So... Starting to come in here. 
does take a little while, but yeah. It's, uh, no, we're up to 2%, so these should close at 20% contamination. And these should open at 15% contamination, so... looks okay so it's starting to go up slowly really quite slowly and I suspect once this opens and it pulls water pulls bad water through the contamination will go up quite a lot quicker there we go so that's opened those have closed perfect so over here we have zero contamination over here we still have zero contamination but that's flowing that away from our colony and keeping this area clean water which is very cool And actually, I wonder if that flow is enough to help deal with this. It's currently staying low, which is really good. It's obviously not so good for wanting to do anything up here with farming, but a long-term solution is, is better anyway. So we're at 1%. I'm gonna lower down the Pause to 10% okay, and pause when below 8%. There we go. So we'll see if see how that works. It's still staying very low, so that's good. Are they how are they doing on our building project over here? Resting well, and we've got 138 horsepower again. So actually it's not made a difference, it would seem, so. Oh well. You can maybe improve that by cutting this corner off in the long term. This theory was good. This theory was good. I think we're busy placing dynamite over here, yeah, so let's cut our trench in probably actually we can unlock now yep triple dynamite so that's cool so with this working we don't want to plant beyond there or our aquatic farm but we can turn this into a big aquatic farm, which is very cool. So far, this is only a 3% contamination, which is brilliant. So it is helping keep the contamination out of here. So this has been a big, big success in terms of alleviating stuff. I do think getting rid of those will be even better. So let's put in our aquatic farm. So, there, put a ladder down. I'm going to do one for both colonies so they can both take advantage of it. Why not? You know? straight path and then we'll let them build those and then we'll put in the planting for it I'm so pleased with how this has worked and it really has helped keep this less contaminated we're gonna have to flush this through 
but it's less impactful, I think. Uh, we are building up a supply of bad water now, which is good. that we have hungry beavers do we have we have 30,000 food we have zero food over here okay why are you importing food there's food that side there's lots of food here um let's check to tell it to always import food except the food that we are making let's see if they now bring food over please because we have hungry beavers please bring food There we go, they're bringing food. I think we need more haulers, so enough concentrating on other stuff. Let's get another hauling post in. My high priority build, and over here as well, I think we want a hauling post. And a builder's hut. can make use of these many spare beavers I think probably we could put in two builder huts which I think then I high prioritized the job not to the building of maybe this now I did do it there right. how are we looking over here we are at 7% contamination and they are still pumping so Good. Good, we've got two days left. And we can now start planting. Oh, so they can service almost all of this area. These ones hopefully can service the rest of it. So what I'm going to do is plant in chunks that are too wide so that we get kind of a distribution of both crops. That should not have been that, it should be that. And that. there we go. That should help with that. Our bad water supply is looking much better now. Going to high prioritize building that as well. We get that done. And so I guess if I want to farm this area, I need that big. going to need us to get over here I wonder what's the most efficient way of doing that so they are orange to red at that point they are very red so maybe we disconnect this piece of part here a straight line because that's going to bug most of us I think tree there into that tree please connect 
it to there and then we'll uh, look, go down into the water here and I guess we could do the same over here and we could have both build it if they would high prioritize these please no yeah, if we're going to have more farmland, we need to keep... This solution works brilliantly, but we need to have more hydrated land. I guess we'll have a farm here. We could turn this peninsula into a farm by just blocking across here. That might be a better solution. So we would need to go across here we may as well cut down all these trees let's do that um, for now we'll prioritize those ones so that we can get through If we get over here, put floodgates along here, that will keep this area clear then. We won't have to flush bad water through. We got contamination into here. How have we got contamination into here? This is this is closed. I don't understand that. Thankfully we are almost over, but I don't understand how 8% contamination has got to here. Answers on a postcard. We need to path round all of the trees. Oh, that's so neat. And the bad tide is over. Let's let some water flood through. Have these guys got food now? They have got some food, which is good. Everyone still has water, which is also good. And I probably want to adjust these settings actually to pause when that's at like half a meter and unpause when it's, yeah, so it's deeper. You want it to be deeper. Um, and then hopefully we're going to see the contamination reducing here quite rapidly. So we'll wait to see the switch here and then I'll manage this and then we'll make some progress. So I spent half an hour focused on bad tide rather than making progress on things. But, you know, there we go. So the contamination is down to 6%, which is still enough to kill our crops. So we actually want to wait until the contamination is down to like 3%. Um, 0% might do that to sort of 3 that's one. so we need to manually open these or just wait for the contamination to drop a bit more right, let's deal with this which is open these and open these and open these And just deal with that that bad water coming through for now. Um, yeah, we've we've kind of killed off some of. What's that looking now? Two percent. This will open in a moment. Yes, we can open these up. And dilute that contamination a little bit more. So I should 5% there. Kind of surprising. 
that we almost pull that through that open now, so that's good. That's down at one percent. So everything is flowing properly again. We have water down here. Awesome. So we just need to let this flush through. We probably want to let this flush through as well. Um, do it that way. That should dilute the contamination even more, but it definitely says to me that we want to, before the next bad tide, block this area off. So that abomination of paths and in the interests of speed we will delete those little trees and aim to come through here with a path Basically, all I want to do is whenever there's a bad time to put them up the rest of the time that they can stay down. Right, everything is good, except we do have contamination in there still, so let's do that. Hopefully, the contamination is low enough that as that flushes through, it doesn't cause any problems. That's still 1%, so we'll let that go still a bit more. Let everything run through. And we need to think about processing these. So, in the interests of not having to move stuff a particularly long way. We need power for the cat tail, so actually we do need to be over here. Okay, so the power of those has gone up a lot, but not of the other ones. Just double check that. Yeah, they're still the same, so um, we're going to need food. A grist mill. We put two of those in. Yeah, let's put two in. And then a bakery and a grill. Grill can go there. The bakery. Those are our scrap metal, so we could move those. Bakery there. Got our scrap metal guys here, so they're a bit closer. We priority build those so they get built ahead of the explosives. So if we got As I did. So he's just sitting about waiting for more potatoes. So one of the things that I think 
is worth doing is no that's part of our defenses hmm oh, wow they're, they're cracking on with this good work beavers these need to be down at zero when we're not doing anything because then water will just run through them we can also that in and demolish these hoping that will help with the flow of the bad tide off the map the next time when we place explosives we'll do triple explosives to go even deeper supplies over because we do have more construction to do over here this is just stage one we obviously need to block off this one as well as part of stage two so this will make a big difference this will protect all of this area so this becomes farmable whether i want to drop this a level Probably not, because we've got our reservoir here. That will actually hydrate all of this anyway. So this could be a, become a nice farm area. Once our guy has cleared off all these birch trees, which are pretty much useless, so may as well be gone. Do we have lumberjacks that can even get over to yep yeah, we do for most of them anyway are oh, they not set to be cut that's why they're just standing there cool so next phase <laughs> you're exhausted why did you just sleep in the water dude oh well i know it's a long journey for them but it's the best way to get this done view we are now keeping up with the bad water supply for explosives we're not providing enough explosives still so we probably might want to think about building an explosives plant over in this district as well so we have plenty of what we short of maple pastries and grilled potatoes still so yeah, I do think that rather than worry about that, let's think about explosives. So, explosions are the answer to most things. Do you need more power as well? I guess it's because the wind is not blowing. That's okay. And we're going to need access to bad water. So the not neat way to do that is just do this and water pumps put two in actually that's not going to work anyway my messy solution is not good. Right, let's place the pumps first. I guess actually the way I should do that is 
in that. And then a slightly more convoluted route in. Like that. Isn't that ever so not good? And then we'll have storage, medium tank, bad water, there we go. Right, let's plant more crops, so wheat needs to go there and I'm going to plant some potatoes here it's not many more but it is some more and when we get explosives we'll knock this down and that can become a potato field yeah. loads of carrots so actually I'm going to unplant that carrot patch and put potatoes in there as well and actually now we've got our blood defense over here I'm going to plant more potatoes as well because no, this is almost built and I think if we got a warning for a bad tide we could prioritize getting it finished in time so it's okay to do both do cattails you're a bakery you're going to do cattail crackers you're a grill you're going to do spad dock we need some storage for both of those We will start to close this up. Uh, this is supposed to be on a stream gauge. This is on a stream gauge, but is ignoring it probably because I've overridden it. So. Yeah, that was affecting our bad water pumps because we didn't have bad water there. We had some sort of mixture. That needs to be closed up. And that one is closed up. Cool. So that should sort itself out. It's taken me eight days to uh, organize myself after the drought. going to mid prioritize that and I'm going to low prioritize the dynamite placement so that not super urgent that we build that tank is my view um, we have explosives coming good um, yep that's good hopefully that means we can start to detonate this and probably 
this area is a higher priority in terms of what's been set. Actually, we could use this for farmland now. So let's do that. Let's build a farmhouse. We will need to accept that in a bad tide some of it will die. And where did I put the farm? I'm going to grow a reasonable size field of potatoes. It seems to be what we're most short of and some more wheat. So let's those to be destroyed and we'll plant some wheat in that bit. And then this is going to become a farm. down here. Actually you can get those trees as well which is good. Too far. There we go. No you won't be. Cool. So again we could make this into another big aquatic farm if we need to but my priority is going to be and actually if I'm saying it's a priority let's actually make it such and put a farm actually we should put the farmhouse that's all it's all going to be irrigated what am I saying because I think as soon as we let some water in here this all goes green pretty much so this farmhouse we'll be able to farm most of that area which is very nice so we actually don't need to worry about this but we'll level it anyway it can maybe be something else they're slowly making progress on getting to that which is good because probably yeah we're getting we're getting down there on the metal front. Click on here. Our food situation is better. The water's good. Food situation's really good, apart from some specifics, and water is good. I think we need to build more water storage. I think I've got used to these fairly easy drought conditions. Actually. That's a medical bed. Yeah, we can build a new one of those. Yeah, let's put it that way. So, and then do well being medical bed there. Yep, we've replaced the medical bed. Do we need more? Have we got any? We've got nine incapacitated beavers. We do need more medical beds. So I feel like we should build a little hospital. And because, yeah, you want your sick people out of the way, we'll build it along the back here. Four more medical beds. That should help with that. Let's give those some priority. Yeah. Plant our new wheat field as well. Oh, you silly little trees. We may as well plant that whole area with wheat. There we go. Opened that up now, which is cool. Not 
really, it's not negatively affected anything down here because we only pump water out. Fine, bad water pump is full. Yes, we need a store for explosives. Because I have a problem. We're going to build a big store for explosives. That way the, the factory can keep running. That's kind of my view. New farm is working really well. That's built. So what we want to do is basic when bad tide starts we go to one when bad tide ends we go to zero i guess when drought starts we also go to one and when drought ends we go to zero so that'll trap water in here when we have a drought as well which seems sensible uh, are we short of workers again over here we are, I guess uh, we had a bunch of deaths. Age, maybe. And we're short of workers over here as well. So, what we can do is deprioritize that so that we get farmers and, and we will plant. Plant a bit of a mixture right, to kind of supplement the food that's being brought in. This is my view. And we'll make use of the space that they have available to them. Yep, so some carrots, some sunflowers. We will plant quite a few and we'll also start throwing some wheat here. Cool. So, double pack of explosives there and we just going to get them to destroy this tree because they're not seeming to cut it down. Yes, we need more lumberjacks, but we're short of resources, so that's not going to happen. And we've got plenty of logs. Let's let's pause a builder's hut as well. We can cope without. Get the tail flower. So this is the bakery dude. We need some storage for cattail crackers. And grilled spider dock. Let's make that one that. And yes. both ways and just kind of manage it do you think oh we have a contaminated beaver <laughs> I don't know how you got contaminated gives us something to sort out because we need to look at decontamination. I'm waiting for daylight because I would really, really like to get a picture of him. Let's speed up time. And then we will try and tackle. It's another bad tide, so we're going to very quickly get to test out our new
Come on, out you come. Out you come, Mr. Contaminated Beaver. Anyway, let's have a look at what we need to do to recover from that. So, we have extract, so... Not under, I think it's under, it's not under housing. Well-being? Yes, decontamination chamber. We have everything we need, so we will get one of those built. Um, we will put it there. And actually, just in case, we're going to build one over here as well. Come on out, Mr. Contaminated Beaver. There you are. Sorry, but that has to be a thumbnail. Right, back to back to work. So we're three days to our next bad tide. Our new bad tide defense is in here. So that's cool. So we don't have, we still have this one, which is going to have to do its thing, but it worked really well last time. So should be okay, I think. Uh, so there's our contamination pods. Oh, it needs power. Okay. It's a hundred horsepower. So I guess we're coming over here. stick it there and that means we might as well delete our other one because that doesn't have power either and we don't have any extract over here so we would need to bring some over would we need somewhere oh we can connect it there awesome i knew what i was doing what we'll do is we'll put a small extract tank there. Hopefully that means they will import it. Make sure. Um, extract import as needed. We have loads of it over here, so. Our beaver is being decontaminated. Okay. Don't know how long it takes, but it's very cool. planted it all so we'll, we'll let it grow and see what we need we are going to need wheat processing capability so i guess we could just switch one of the cattail ones over but i think probably actually what i'll do is put a grist mill here We are good for power still. And then put another bakery in. To actually shift that path slightly. And fit a bakery there. Or bread. And you're going to do wheat flour. You're going to be decorated. And then we are going to blow this plateau up anyway. So it's nice and flat. Um, I think we need more housing. I wonder 
whether this should start to be a separate district or not, or whether we just build some houses over here. Obviously takes a while to decontaminate. Right, we'll go through this bad tide and then I'll call it a day again. Um, once it starts to get dark, I'm going to go around and make sure all of our defenses are, all of our manual defenses are in place. These ones are automated. Right. Oh, this farm's starting to crop up food, which is cool. Crop up crop because it's food crop some of this is going to die so let's prioritize potatoes and harvesting because they're grown and the wheat's not so some of this wheat is going to die when half grown and i think next job is to start to secure the rest of this area so probably actually Damming across here, damming across here. But, pause. Right. So they've gone up, which is good. So that's all of this protected. These are up at two. One, those are up. Not that it matters too much. Those are up. What's wrong with you? You're injured too. Light distraction to build some more hospital capacity. Those are up. Those should go up. Those should go up. I think that's everything. No. Right. Think I'm going to manually override this. And put those up. And manually override that and put those down. Oh. Oh, we planted a bit too far. It's okay. It's now keeping all of this nice and safe. This is all okay. This is this. Oh, so pleased as we make progress towards defending our colony from the bad tide. Yeah, next time, cross here. And across here. And that way we won't have to have this happening. But I don't think we worry too much about that. I think that'll be okay. Awesome. working and maybe generating a little bit more power 50-50 on that now we looking in here so they're still slowly working on doing this not sure why it's so slow but you know unless they're exporting it over to here because this is a bigger project but that's very cool
That's not so cool. We do need to address that next time. It'll be pretty easy. It'll be pretty easy. We, uh, we dam across the bottom here. We dam across here. We don't get any back currents, and that'll be okay. I can't believe it's taking so long to place these explosives. Yes, we do have a bunch of projects going on that are using explosives and only one factory, so, you know. Club do finished yet? He has. Oh, we've got another one that's gone in, so. We are getting some contamination going on. It's interesting. But that's worked really nicely. Why am I seeing starving? And they've got food, so... Papa Shack is doing his thing. I think next time I need to go through all of the food and see what we need to look at, because if I go... General well-being... Yeah, we're sure of just about everything, so... I think maybe we look at some more monuments and stuff next time. And maybe we try and make this more usable. Anyway, I'm going to pause it there and say thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button. Any comments, questions, or suggestions, stick them below. I do read them, do appreciate them. I'm sometimes a couple of videos ahead, so don't always action them straight away. And I will see you next time.